There is evidence for very sophisticated and powerful tools that is etched into these artifacts from the very earliest points in Egypt all over the place. And a lot of these things, they disappear in later periods of time. Yeah, so here's an example. The tube drills are really interesting because it's a very thin tool and, and what they would do, they range in size from like a half inch up to nine inches. And are those plugs that were removed yeah. from the stone? So it's like a, a hollow tool that gets that gets cut down and then you snap off the core. Flinders Petrie, uh, he was, uh, you familiar with Petrie? He was, he was around like late 1800s, early 1900s. I use his work a lot in the stuff that I do because he was the first guy to apply engineering principles to what we saw, which is kind of this meta point that messes with my head a bit in that it took our civilization up to the industrial age to even be able to put some of this stuff into context. Like anyone else that looked at this stuff before we understood what machining was, what working in this stone was, what it looks like to cut stone with a circular saw, you don't have the context to explain it. So we had to get to the industrial age and develop sort of mass manufacturing engineering for us to even recognize what we're seeing here.